Welcome to Tuesday Morning Prayer as we celebrate the life of William Tyndale, Bible scholar and martyr. We can proclaim the name of the Lord, ascribe greatness to our God. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The opening canticle, a song of God's mercy. God who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ, and raised us up with him, and made us sit with him in the heavenly places, in Christ Jesus that he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness towards us, in Christ Jesus. The night is past, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 86. In verse 15 we read, You, Lord, are a God, gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, full of goodness and truth. Turn to me and be merciful. Give your strength to your servant and save the child of your handmaid. You may wish to pause the video here to complete the remainder of the psalm. Lord, our God, our Creator, Redeemer and Sanctifier, we ask you to cleanse us from all hypocrisy, to unite us to our fellow men and women by the bonds of peace and love, and to confirm us in holiness now and forever. Amen. Our reading this morning is from Matthew chapter 11, verses 12 to 24. Jesus reproaches the cities in which most of his deeds of power had been done, because they did not repent. You may wish to pause the video here to complete the remainder of the reading. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The Canticle, A Song of the Blessed Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for what is right, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for mercy shall be shown to them. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Faithful God, you have surrounded us with a great cloud of witnesses. Grant that we, encouraged by the example of your servant William Tyndale, may persevere in running the race that is set before us, until at last, with him, 
we may attain to your eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. You may wish to pause the video here to say intercessions and prayers and thanksgivings. Lord and Heavenly Father, you've brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power. Protect us from sin. Guard us from every kind of danger. And in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. Amen.